Hey, Asa, what are we gonna draw today? Caterpillar. Yeah, it's gonna be a realistic caterpillar. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And how old are you? Six. Six. We're gonna try to keep this lesson nice and easy for young artists, but we're still gonna. It's still gonna be awesome. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. You got your marker? Yeah. <laughs> and some paper. Yeah, and some paper. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You ready to start? Yeah. We're gonna start by drawing the front of our caterpillar, and we're gonna draw a big curve. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a big curve. Comes up like that. It's like almost like a part of a circle. So we're gonna start right here. Draw a big curve. Now right here we're gonna draw we're gonna draw the end of this coming down a little further. So have this come down maybe to about there. Yeah. There you go. Now we're gonna draw some bumps, the segments for a caterpillar. We're gonna draw two bumps coming down. So we draw two bumps, one, two. Perfect. Now we're gonna draw a bunch more bumps going back. So we're gonna draw them, I'm gonna draw them coming back up. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. So look how it's curving back up. There you go. And you can draw them kind of big too. Yeah, there you go. One more. Yeah, okay, now right at the end, we're gonna draw another curve just like we did at the front, except it's gonna be a lot smaller. Is that cool? So we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna come down to about there. All right, good job. Okay, now on each of these segments, we're gonna draw a line coming down. So I'm gonna draw a line coming down like that. On each, see where the segment comes together, so where the bumps come together? We're gonna draw lines coming down for the body, it almost looks like a comb for your hair. <laughs> so we start right there, we'll draw a segment there. Yes, and then one right next to it. Keep going. I'm gonna make mine a little longer too. So right here, these ones are gonna be longer. Yeah. Go all the way down your body. Keep going, got a couple more. Nice job, you did it. Is it starting to look like a caterpillar? Yeah. A little bit, like the top, huh? Now we're gonna draw two more segments up here on the curve. So we're gonna draw them big like this. So I'm gonna draw, and look, how. see how they come together down here at the bottom? So we'll draw the first one there. Yes, and then we're gonna draw another one and it's gonna come closer at the bottom. Yeah, now we're gonna draw two more. This one's gonna come in really close. So yeah, you could draw right here to there. And then the last one we're gonna draw, it's gonna connect into that second line. Yeah, now we're gonna draw the head of our caterpillar it's gonna be a U shape, it's down like that. His face is kinda of aimed towards the leaf or maybe the stem that he's crawling on. Yeah, now we're gonna go down and we're gonna connect all of these lines and we're gonna do them with little bumps, just like we did on the top over here. Little U's, could go all the way down and connect each of the lines. You wanna start? Now in the very back, we're gonna connect with a really long curve, all the way to the back. Now we got the shape of our caterpillar all done. What is he missing? His legs. Yeah, we got his body, now we need to do his legs. Now he has three up here at the front that are really sharp, they look sharp. We're gonna draw a line that comes down and then back up, looks like a spike. And you can start right here on this one. So we'll, go, we'll start here, come down, and then back up. Yeah, and then back up. And then we're gonna do another one right next to that one. Big one. Good, and then back up. And then we'll draw another one, the last one right here. This one's gonna be a little smaller. It's a little shorter, you can go right here and then back up. Yeah. 
Now we're gonna draw four more legs right here on the middle of his body. And I'm gonna draw little U's first. So one, two, three, four. So we're gonna start right here and we draw a U on this segment and then this one, that one, and then the next one. Draw four little U's. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Now right here on the end, I'm gonna draw another U for his leg, the rest of his leg sticking out the bottom. Does that look gross? Yeah. <laughs> and then at the end, he's got another little bump right back here on the, on the very back. He's just come down and then back up. And then you can drop wide. Yeah, just like that. Austin, your caterpillar looks really cool. Okay, now we still need to color our caterpillars, right? Yeah. But before we do that, let's add the black stripes with our marker. We're gonna start up here on his head and we're gonna draw a little spot first. And it kind of looks like an eye. So we're gonna draw a little oval on his head and then we're gonna color it in. Now I'm gonna draw a U shape that comes down on this first one and then back up. Almost looks like a spike. You can start here, come down and then back up. And then I'm also gonna color that in. Hey, and if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if we ever go too fast, you need extra time. You can always pause the video. Now we're gonna add another stripe. It's gonna be in the middle of this one. And it's a little bit bigger, doesn't it? it looks bigger. I'm gonna color this guy in. And I left a little white spot inside of it too. We can color that orange later. Now down here at the bottom, we're gonna add another spot and then color that in. The next stripe we're gonna draw is on the segment or this line right here. I'm gonna add a line right next to it and then color that in. There's a lot of stripes on our caterpillar and we're gonna draw every single one so that it looks super realistic. Okay, now we're gonna draw the next stripe. It's gonna come down his body like this, just like we did over here, and we're gonna do that on every segment. Watch this. I'm gonna come down, back up, down, back up. And this part we're gonna fast forward, but you guys at home can pause the video and then take the time to draw each of these little stripes going down each segment. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. All right, now let's color them in. We got our stripes all colored in. Now let's add more dots all the way down his body. So I'm gonna draw little circles or ovals. They don't have to be perfect because you want them to look natural. So I'm gonna draw shapes all the way down right below each of the stripes. And then I'm gonna go back through and color them in too. And this part we're gonna fast forward also. So you guys can pause it again and then take extra time to draw your little dots. Good job on drawing and coloring your spots. Now we're gonna add a stripe back here on the very back segment, the last segment. So I'm gonna draw another U, color it in, and I'm gonna draw a crazy shape right here at the back. You guys can use your creativity to draw any shape you want back here. And maybe even has another little dot on his back right there. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Okay, now we're gonna color in the bottom part of his feet or his legs. Yes, all four of them. Then we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna add a little black and on the back foot. And then we're, let's come over here to the spikes and add little black ends to his front legs. All right, dude, we did it. We finished drawing our caterpillars and they look amazing, except they're gonna look even better once we do what? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our caterpillars. We're gonna fast forward one more time but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same color. Awesome. 
Your caterpillar turned out amazing, all colored in. I love it. What was your favorite part? The stripes. The stripes? I like the stripes too. And I also like the dots. We used orange to add an extra dot along the side of our caterpillars. And I used dark green to add some shading, but you can leave the shading off just like you to keep this lesson nice and easy. We hope you had all the fun drawing your caterpillars. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Our drawings look different, and that's okay, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. And to? Practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good. Hey, caterpillar. <laughs> You're gonna eat the leaf. <laughs> if you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.